Hey everyone, so this is not my normal video, but it's more calling out to the other funeral directors and balmers that may watch my channel. So here in the United States, we are lucky to have a standard level of care for our loved ones that are deceased. And every country is not that way. Now yes, we get to choose whether we want to have embalming or certain levels of preparation, but not everybody gets that and they want that. So there right now is a movement uh, here that we're trying to help some people in Kenya who have reached out and said, we want to learn how to care for our dead the way that you do. And they don't have anybody to show them that. Well, here in America, we have some really kick-ass embalmers and some kick-ass restorative artists. And one of them are here in Michigan. His name is Dominic Astorino, and he has volunteered his time and his services to go to Kenya to train these individuals and to help them start a program so that they can learn to care for their dead and their loved ones the way that we do here when it is wanted. And so we're just trying to raise funds for Dominic to be able to get there. He's donating all of his time and his efforts, but we need to pay for the travel and him to stay there and to take um, products and things with him to help them to learn. So here's a message from Dominic. I believe that funerals and seeing our dead benefit people, families, and communities. I also believe in the power of education and the unwavering human spirit. Please consider helping with my latest project to bring education, supplies, and a respectable standard of care to Africa. Currently in Kenya, there are only 300 mortuaries for a population of 50 million, and the funeral industry is plagued with corruption, a complete lack of education, and no government regulation or support. The average Kenyan funeral professional, professional makes less than $100 a month and is exposed to deadly diseases with no education, training, or personal protective equipment. Many have and will continue to die or get very sick until they have proper training, standards, and supplies. I appeal to you all to consider the benefit of our great profession and to consider how you can further the cause. Many have generously donated, but we are still only halfway there. That's a message from Dominic himself. So I'm going to post the link in the description of this video. Check that out. If you feel compelled, donate to try and get Dominic over to Kenya so that he can help train and equip some of these professionals in caring for their loved ones in that country. Also look at this video um, from some of the people from Kenya who reached out. Thanks, guys. Greetings everyone uh, from Kenya. I hope you are all fine and we are all from Kenya. To start with, my name is Olak Ezra Omondi, the National Chairman of Funeral Services Association of Kenya. And my colleague here is called uh, John, John Morioki Mugo. Mugo. He is the National Treasurer of Funeral Services Association of Kenya. As you can see him, is in the attire, is a uh, one of the best a recognized mortician here in the Republic of Kenya. Actually, what we are trying to do, we started this association way back in 1995, but it was registered the year 2011, March. The main reason we started this association was to professionalize this industry and transform the funeral industry because there have been a lot of challenges that we are facing. Quacks have infiltrated this industry and also their poor embalming that has been taking place. Kenya has a population of 50 million people and we have many public owned mortuaries in the Republic of Kenya. There are over 300 public mortuaries within Kenya. Private are very few, there are less than 10 within the Republic of Kenya. The reason why we doing this thing is that uh, we contacted Dominic Astorino two years ago and uh, we saw the work he has done because we saw he's a lecturer at uh, Wayne University. Uh, he's a restorative artist and also is lecturing at the Wayne University as in the mortuary science department. We contacted him because we are facing numerous challenges. One, 
that we don't have proper legislation here in Kenya. None exist that regulate this industry. Secondly, we don't have any training for these morticians in Kenya. Third, we have seen and experienced many morticians, especially those who are embalming, have died as a result of infectious diseases that they contract within the facility, their place of work. And therefore, we saw an urgent need that uh, we bring an expert in this field to come and share the knowledge and expertise here in Kenya. Because there's still this perception that anybody working in the mortuary field is like a punishment. If you have done something wrong within the hospital facility, you have been transferred and taken to the mortuary department, which is wrong. They don't realize that this is a career and it's a profession like any other profession. So we really would like to, uh, we shall appreciate for those people who are funding this noble cause for Dominic and Vistrino to come here in Kenya and share and also the government to know that actually there's a course and degree in mortuary science that exists. There are people who are well trained and advanced in this industry. There are certified funeral practitioners that exist and this one will open eyes to so many people not only here in Kenya but in the entire Africa. So we, shall, we really appeal to our friends that we have made friends uh, in the United States of America and all over the world kindly help Dominic Asurino to raise funds so that he can come and share his knowledge so that w so that we share with also others because our main goal is we have a uniform standard of environment all over the world so that so that uh, people can appreciate our work we lack issues of documentation People embalm, but there's nothing like embalming report. We don't have things like to do with the embalming certificate. So anybody can just wake up in the morning, register his company, and off he goes that he's an embalmer, he's a funeral director. You can imagine uh, the, the issues that happen here in this industry. We have been having numerous cases of missing bodies, uh, the issue of harvesting of body parts in other people, the quarks who have infiltrated this thing. Everybody just convert his vehicle, remove the seats and make it like a house, which they don't conform to the standard that is required. So I'm appealing to everyone, both all over the world, kindly uh, support the noble cause of Dominic Astorino to come and share with us because we are also here in Kenya, the Mutisans are highly underpaid. It's, it's just a, a lesser work for them. And if Dominic Astorino can come and share with us, I'm telling you that the change that will be seen here in this country, it will be enormous. And with that few remarks, I beg to say thank you and support Dominic Astorino to come here in Kenya. And my colleague also can wind up by saying something. Ah, okay. My name is John Moriyuki. I'm the treasurer of FUSAC. I just like to uh, Dominic Astorino to come. Thank you. Thank you very much. As you've heard from him, he's the national tre treasurer. He helps pathologists when they are carrying out post mortems. He's the one who helps them as a pathologist assistant. So we are appealing to all of you. We are here in Kenya that help our colleague, our friend. Dominic Astorino, Astorino to come, come and assist us in this industry so that we have at least somebody from outside who we see the techniques of embalming. We are just using the, the old embalming techniques by using the force of gravity, uh, putting the formalin and using a jerrican and then the, just the force of gravity. But I know there's ex techniques that exist outside there. So when he comes, because families, the brief families may find that the bodies are discolored. And I know there you will help us how we can bring those bodies and at least have an appealing face so that people can see. We are also uh, talking about the issue of repatriation. Uh, what are the requirements for the repatriation? And then to, to avoid this, all these kind of challenges, it will be an advantage to us, not only to the association, but to the entire Republic of Kenya and the rest of Africa. We appeal that help us fund the noble cause. Thank you in advance and may God bless you for this noble cause. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh.